So these are the pieces for the cyclotron refinery building. Uh, the cyclotron itself I've already made in another video. But this is the structure for the building. This doesn't include the trim pieces and it's completely covered with trim but that would be a, another huge pile of things so let's not confuse the issue at this stage. You can see that there's one building and two buildings that have uh, little tabs in it. They use the same um, brace uh, type uh, construction method that uh, many of the other buildings do. Um, so we have short little braces for the smaller building which goes here. And then we have the long braces that go on this taller section of building which goes here. And those two buildings connect with a wall in between which is this one. So this one makes up uh, the walls, the center wall of both buildings. And then we have the uh, ore chute um, that things will feed through, which come in through here on the roof. Um, and uh, that will go into the sides of the building here. So with all of that, um, what we're going to do first is attach all of these pieces onto their wall sections and onto the roof. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put that onto the uh, base. And then finally, we'll build this, um, attach it through here, and put the back walls on. Okay, so let's begin by putting the braces onto their wall sections, because that's an easy place to start. And we'll go ahead and do the le less complicated walls that stand alone first, and then we'll uh, do the complicated wall that goes in between the two buildings. Let's do an out of sequence thing here. So when we're putting this together, these onto it, we should make sure we've got the right side of it outwards. So this is the top. Make sure that this, these notches are aligning so that these will go that way. You do it the other way, which is what I did the first time and I'm now editing out, these don't line up, so that way is the correct way. All right, let's put these together real fast. So like all of these, put a little glue. Along the length of it, into the little notches. This goes like so. Again, it shouldn't take very much force. It's taking force. It means something is just out of alignment. Now the centerpiece has three slots for these. Let's go ahead and put those in. Now, you'll notice there's two other tabs here that don't have notches. They don't get these supports because they're going to go in between this building and this building. So with the short ones done, let's go ahead and... And if you want, you can clean up the edges. Now... You may notice that we have these pieces, which seem to look a lot like these. These actually go where the building has an overhang, but we can't do that yet, um, not until uh, we've got the rest of this together. The chute has these pieces that go on the bottoms and sides, and it has these that go down the length. Now these have a square in them, and that is what holds the grinder. That's what makes room for the grinder. So they also hold the grinder in place because this is where the grinder axles will go. And then these lock them in. So we might as well do the grinder axles first. And they're simply done putting a little bit of glue down the length of it. 
we go ahead and do it on both sides. And then starting to slide these in and alternating banner. It doesn't make sense to put a whole lot of glue onto it because they're all going to slide and push that glue along in front of them. Should be three of each kind on each of these and they should just alternate. Then do the same thing on the other one. are going to fit like so, like so, here. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this together quickly. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of glue along these edges, along these tabs. easier to put them together first and do them at the same time, or it might be much more difficult. Just rotate them until they both slip into those notches. All right. Then, go ahead and do these. Do this. This on. Again, get into these notches to line up like so. Getting these pieces to line up like so. Push those together. And we'll go ahead and put these on. Oh. This, it matters which way is up. The shorter edge needs to go up. Put an arrow on that because that's important and useful. There we go. That doesn't matter. And that's all there is to that. Okay. So this is going to fit up into here, and so while the glue is wet, you might want to go ahead and make sure that everything is lining up to allow that to happen. Okay, so that's how that piece is going to go. Okay, so with this piece assembled, We are ready to assemble the building itself. Now this is going to match up with this down here. That means that the underside of this building is going to have an opening here that no one's going to see unless they turn it over and look. Um, the reason for that is because it is much easier to assemble this way and if you accidentally forgot and assembled all of this and left this off with this closed you'd never be able to get that back on without taking the whole thing apart again. Actually, let's go and put the roofs together first. That's always a good place. So I'm going to take this. That, 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 and that. Go across here. And this will go. Ah, 
This will go across here. Again, if it's aligned well, it shouldn't take very much force to get it together. And if it's not aligned well, any amount of force is probably just going to make life more difficult. There we go. So there's that. Now I could put a could have put a bead of glue along the edges of this. Um, I think it's going to be fine without it. Okay. Um, then I will put a bead of glue for what's going to happen down here, though. So let's start with this. We'll put glue beads. Now this needs to match this. So you can see there's a tab right here, or a slot right here. There's a slot right here. There's a little hook in the top of this. That's where this building is going to go. And you'll notice that there's no notches on this end because this piece is on that end. So when this goes together, hopefully we've lined this piece up correctly. goes on like that. And this end does the same thing. And this should be symmetrical because I made an effort to make sure it was symmetrical. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on these tabs. And might as well put them on these tabs too while I'm here. all together and we're ready for the final pieces which are these so this put it onto the small building first so that's easier Again, if it seems like it's taking too much force, it's because something isn't lining up right. Alright, so there all that is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down in place here. spots down here. Okay. So, this just slide up underneath of it. There's a little bit of resistance because pieces bending, but that means it will go into position very easily when it's in the right spot. And then put this down, same way. Now all this is being held together, all of that's being held together. And with this here, we'll go ahead and glue this piece on. Put a little glue along this edge, put a little glue along this edge, and we'll go ahead and put a little glue along this edge because that is where it's going to interface with that little spot. Alright, that's that. 
glue. And then this piece goes onto this end. I don't believe it matters which side is up. I might as well put it along this edge. even see this. So I put glue on those for this piece. That piece will just fit in right there. All right. And now these can go on. So go and put a little glue into that notch. We'll glue down into there. These are completely reversible. Okay. And is that half of this building done? Now over here, let's go ahead and put this last piece on. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the rim of it here because that's going to let it interface with that door. And then also we want some on the tabs because that's what's going to interface with this. I'm going to put some on the roof of this too. Let's go ahead and put this piece on. Um, we'll go ahead and put a little bit of glue in between all of these pads, tabs, slots. I don't know. Okay. So this is going to go there. And this. I want to go ahead and put a little bit of glue onto these tabs or into these slots because these are going to go there like so. And now it's all ready to go together. And then barring other disaster everything should line up. Ta-da! All right, there's your cyclotron building without any of the trim. Next is the trim. The good news is that while there's a lot of trim, it's pretty easy to do. The bad news is there's really a lot of trim. But that's how you make things look cool. And then the cyclotron itself will fit right there. So these are the pieces that make up the trim for this. The these pieces, uh, there's one with a really long, well not really long, but longer um, top and bottom points. Uh, that's going to go over top of this door and I usually put that on this first space. And then all of these shorter ones go into the spaces in between uh, the short building, uh, between the supports on the short building. And then these are the capacitor banks that I use on a whole bunch of things to indicate like energy storage or something like that. And they fill up uh, the remaining longer bays. Now this one with the hole in it is where the interface with the cyclotron coming out of this building is. So that one
That one fits into this space. It has to fit with that side coming out. Um, and that'll go all the way down, of course. And that's where the tube that comes from the cyclotron, these will make up the tubes. These will go on either end of those tubes to interface with the cyclotron. And then with the uh, deposition device that feeds it into the uh, cubes, um, you know, one, one atom at a time, um, that uh, sits up here, and this long one gets one of these on either end and interfaces between that device and here. These pieces make up that device, um, not this piece, those pieces. And these are, of course, all the little bits that go into the capacitor banks. And then finally, there's a whole bunch of little control panels, communication panels that um, you can glue into some, some of the other sp spaces just to uh, you know, help fill in um, some of the blank areas. And then there's uh, several ladders. These don't have the connections for railings like the other ones have because they have no railings. All right, um, I guess the really the only complicated thing is the uh, deposition device that sits on top of this. And so let's do that one first. Okay, so if you've made the hex crates, you pretty much know how the base of this thing goes together. Um, we've got a top and a bottom. We've got six sides. Uh, this one has holes cut out so that these can go into it. And then these go around the outside edges and um, actually fit into the spaces in between these panels. Um, these have hooks to help align them. Uh, you probably can't tell, but there's a very slight dip in these to make it easier to see where they're supposed to go into. Um, and uh, just help hold them there. And then uh, this doesn't have to go onto it, but they can go onto the top and bottom um, if you want. It can help alignment, but it isn't really necessary at all. So to glue these, I usually do one on each side, and then put the top on, and then do the other side, and then do the rest of them. Okay. So then we can start putting these on. Um, it is probably easier to do these first. On the other hand, it may not matter. Now the thing about this is, is some of them have longer prongs than the other one. So they're supposed to alternate. So you might want to look at them to start with and just make sure you know which or which. Okay, and just start with one and glue them in. Um, and then if you want, you can go ahead and put this on since it has something to align with. And that should fit into the gap underneath of it. In. Um, the one opposite since the first one was short. The next one should, oh no, the first one, yeah, the first one was tall, so the one opposite it should be short. Let's see the tall one and the short one. Now, we do these. So, we'll glue on the top and bottom. We'll glue down the length, although it probably won't have much to grab onto. And 
just slip it nice and easy in between. And you'll feel it when it engages like it should. So it's gone into the hole in the bottom, the hole in the top, well, the other way around. Um, and it then slips into the space in between this. Just helps cover up that gap. One more time around, just make sure all the pieces are in. Make sure they're all nice and aligned. Now you'll notice that one of these sides has a gap in it. That is where this is going to go for the inlet from the cyclotron. But we'll leave that off from now. Well, I can already do the first part of it. This is just a simple quarter inch rod. Do it on the other side. And just get it in there straight. Okay. But we're not going to glue that on yet because I want to be able to keep this mobile so that we can put in all the trim pieces. Alright, so with this more or less done for now, let's go ahead and do all this nonsense. So, all of these pieces need to have these little capacitor banks put into them. All of them are the same. They can go in right side up or upside. There's, there is no right side up or upside down. So, don't spend too much time worrying about it. Okay, so there's the first one done. Uh, all of the rest of them are exactly the same, so we'll warp time through that. Okay, so here's all these pieces. And you'll notice there's three of them that size, and two of them that size, and two of them that size, and you've got the three of these. Um, let's go ahead and put start putting the trim onto it. So first thing I'm going to do is put, well, let's go and put these long ones on. So again, I'm going to put the door here. You don't have to, but it makes the most sense to me for where a door should be. I imagine this thing's just chock full. There's almost no space for anyone standing around. So maybe there's a control person and some crawl spaces in between all the machinery. And you can just put this all the way down and stand those up there. This does not go all the way to the top of the roof. It actually stops just below it. Um, it was an intentional choice, but your mileage may vary from that. All right, and again, this is the one that interfaces with the cyclotron. So it's real important this is on that side. You need to verify it, just line up the cyclotron, which will go like that. Okay, then let's go ahead and do these. So these long ones go into these spaces, these medium ones go there, and the thinnest ones go there. And the same thing on the other side.
Okay, so that's all of those. And I like to put a long ladder here and a short ladder there. Short ladder here. Oh, I'm sorry. Short ladder here. Stand up, man. Another short ladder here. And then another long ladder over on the side. Like so. These go in between on these. There's five of them. So there's all of those. Now we have these various panels. Um, you can put them wherever you want. You do not have to follow my advice on this. Oh, this is a little loose. I should have been watching that. Okay. So I'm going to put one of these long ones here. I'm going to put one of these double ones over here. Naturally, you can do whatever you want. So this is awkward, but somehow the uh, final files on this got uh, corrupted. So um, fortunately there isn't very much left to do. Um, there are um, pieces that will let you connect with a um, pipe in between the building and the um, cyclotron, and then between the cyclotron and the... Um, little atomic deposition thing here. Um, I actually don't usually put them on because um, I'm worried about them breaking and I can always remove the cyclotron if I just want the cyclotron to be there. Um, you know, it's still a decent like uh, big machine if you want to have that more open. Um, and then there is a uh, larger panel that's actually probably uh, I think it was cut out of the bottom of this and um, just use any small square piece to give it some uh, elevation. So this is where the uh, obtainium cubes come out at. And here is one of them that's been made. And uh, this is real simple. It's just four legs and a top and a bottom. And the easiest way to do this is to put three of the legs on with glue, put the fourth leg on without glue, go ahead and paint it up. This is just primed with a, a hammered metal, uh, real simple. And then turn it on its side, put the crystal in, put the glue the last leg down. And um, that's about all that's left for this. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, I know this is a little bit complicated. It's not too bad, but um, I hope you have fun with it.